welcome back to another episode of Remain Healthy. This is where Laura and I give you tips and tricks in the kitchen to convert your favorite recipes to plant-based recipes, to get you excited about cooking, and to show you just how easy it is with simple ingredients and recipe was inspired by a co-worker. The other day we were talking about tuna salad and chicken salad and how it tastes so delicious, but it's seeming, it is seemingly healthy, but is actually not so much, especially when you add mayo to it. And of course, fish or chicken, not so healthy. Fish in particular, the tuna fish is a huge fish, so it contains even more pollutants or more heavy metals like mercury in it that you do not want in your body not to mention the saturated fat and cholesterol. So there's definitely a better way to get your omega-3s and we can talk about all that in another episode. But again, it's a, it's a show where we try to replace those unhealthy ingredients with healthy ones. So instead of using mayo, we use another mixture of ingredients to make this chickpea salad that is very healthy for you. Every single ingredient has a health benefit. And we replace the chicken or the tuna with chickpeas, which is so easy, opening up a can and draining it. And you guys know chickpeas are so healthy for you. They contain lots of protein, lots of fiber, lots of vitamins. I will list them here for you and look them up so you can see just how great they are for you. So there's not one ingredient here that you have to feel bad about or that is gonna harm your health. A recipe where you might feel intimidated by you'll look at a picture on the internet and you're like oh, I can't do that that's too hard and too fancy well let me just show you how easy it is to make you may even have all the ingredients already first ingredient we have here is a can of chickpeas star of the show I try to buy a low sodium kind or if you can get it without sodium that's even better just a little bit more healthy if you are feeling really crazy you can make your own in the instapot or boil the kidney beans from scratch. That's always a good option. You can even freeze them when you're done. Um, next up we have capers. Capers are, they're pretty powerful. You'll need a little bit of them. My husband doesn't like them too much, so I try not to go overboard when I put them in or just totally leave them out. They're pretty salty, so that's why I don't use much salt in this recipe on top of that. You can decide for yourself, but they already have a salty flavor to it, but I think it gives it a little bit more depth. I got my salt and pepper here. It is a, um, I believe, I forget how much celery. I'm going to write it anyway, so it doesn't matter. But a little quarter, maybe a quarter cup of celery. And we have a tablespoon or two of maple syrup. Of course, I'm measuring exactly, guys. Don't worry. You know me. A teaspoon of Dijon mustard. This might be a little spicy for the kids, but that adds flavor. That's going to give it a little more creaminess. We also have, these are my capers, I just saw those. A tablespoon of sunflower seeds. I take a little bit more, I really like that crunch in the salad, so I use those. A quarter cup of red onion, it just gives it a little bit of color too. And of course, the red onion has more health properties than the regular onion. The more color, the better, and you can kind of see this is already getting pretty colorful. Pickles, quarter cup of pickles. I only had one left, so I didn't feel like going to the store, so I'm just gonna wing it, and I'm just gonna put whatever I have in the um, recipe. So don't go crazy and have to think you have to be exact or you'll just never do anything at all. The other one is tahini. Some people may not know what tahini is. It's just a sesame seed crushed up. So when you buy it, it almost looks like a jar of peanut butter. I usually find it in the peanut butter aisle or the nutrition aisle next to their peanut butter. And this was in Giant. I have all these Giant brands because they're a little bit cheaper. But um, this is like a creamy consistency of peanut butter. It does have saturated fat, uh, not sorry, a little bit of fat in it, so you don't want to eat too much of this every single day, but it, again, gives it a little bit of depth of flavor and its creaminess so we don't have to use the mayo. So we're going to put all this fun stuff together. So the first thing I do, the recipe doesn't say this, I'm going to include it below, is I like to mix kind of the wet ingredients together first, where I did three tablespoons of tahini, about a teaspoon of mustard. I stress the word about um, and then a little bit of maple syrup here. Come on. I use the, the fancy maple syrup, definitely not the, the cheap kind. I think it has a much better taste and doesn't have that high fructose corn syrup in, so a little more natural. Um, still sugar. I'm sure you can leave it out, but I like the sweet flavor in. Okay, I think you're supposed to mash the chickpeas before you put it in, so let's pretend. But you want to give them a good mash. I don't think it'll ruin it. Again, guys, don't get crazy about being perfect. I even totally messed it up. So when you mash the chickpeas, it almost gets that um, 
shredded chicken or tuna kind of like consistency. You know, it helps it break it down a little bit. You don't want to mash them completely up. You'll end up with hummus. So just a little bit. It's pretty good. Can okay, always get back. We use this masher. We use that for the guacamole too. It's really very useful. We'll throw these into the pot. I wish I had more pickles. I love pickles. And then some sunflower seeds. And then I'm going to put this into there. You can kind of see the consistency I made it. I put, added a little bit of water to it. Cool, guys. And then all we do is mix it up. But you can already see how it looks like the consistency of chicken salad or tuna salad. And it smells so good. I totally wish you could smell it. I didn't add salt. You can add salt and pepper. A pinch of pepper for sure would be really good here. You can add roasted red pepper. You can add anything you want, whatever you like in your chicken salad normally, you know, except for the chicken, guys. Um, so you can see when you break it up, it looks like tuna or chicken salad has that same consistency. Smells way better. You won't stink people out of the lunchroom either when you open it up. And you're going to get so many healthy nutrients and fiber and protein. Everybody's so worried about their protein. You know you don't have to be because you're going to get it as long as you get the same amount of calories or the right amount of calories. And you can add roast or not roasted pepper, but if you want roasted pepper, or just chop up a um, red or green pepper in there, add a little bit more color, whatever you like. Go easier on the celery if you don't like that or leave onions out. Kind of be creative with it. So... That's pretty much it, guys. Looks pretty good. Put it on some toast with lettuce and tomato. Put it in a pita. Throw a big ice cream scoop of it on a salad. And you got it. Chickpea salad. Hey, guys. This is also a really good recipe you can make with your kids because you're mashing up the chickpeas. That's so much fun. They can easily chop the celery, um, put it in, and mix so I hope you like this video. If you want to subscribe, please do so down below. There's a red button there. Hit the thumbs up if you like it. We are now over 100 subscribers, so it's super exciting. I remember being very excited. We had about five people, so I'm really glad you like it. If you have any comments or anything you want to see, I'm open to suggestions, and I hope you guys really liked it and that you all remain healthy. Until next time.